How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I wanted to quickly show you guys a little tutorial on how to use a VPN. And I'll be using my favorite VPN, ExpressVPN, to just kind of demonstrate very quickly. I'll talk about the features that are available within ExpressVPN and their very basic features, really, that are uh, that, or that should be available actually in every premium VPN. Okay, so before I begin, if you guys are interested in ExpressVPN or if you'd like to learn more about it with regards to the privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find a full in-depth review in the description below. Or if you'd like to just get straight to the pricing or coupon codes and discounts, you'll also find a link to the latest discounts available for ExpressVPN. Okay, so... With ExpressVPN, as you can tell, um, it's really one of the easiest VPNs to use and it is as straightforward as just clicking the button right here. Once you click the button, it'll uh, select a specific location, a smart location, what it calls just, it's just smart selects um, whatever it thinks is best for you, depending on your location, what it thinks is your fastest um, or the fastest server for your location. But, you know, Sometimes it could be right, could be wrong. I don't like using the smart location uh, or the quick connect kind of feature in any VPN, really. What you can do with ExpressVPN, the cool thing is that it has a speed test feature. And with this speed test feature, I'll just move it right here. Uh, you can run tests, let's say for, let's say just recommended locations and it may, it does give you very accurate latency, by the way, but the uh, download speed may not be too accurate. However, it does give you uh, the, well, rough aggregate, you know, which VPN, which server, excuse me, could be the best choice for you. Now, usually the France server, the French server right here is the best for me, uh, followed up by the Italian one. So this is definitely correct. And uh, I've tested this in, uh, other VPNs and it does seem that I always uh, I am in the European region and I do always get the best connections with France and Italy so this is one feature that really saves you a lot of time so you can do that um, how to let's say let's just go through the options and I'll show you how you can check that your IP address indeed changed okay so here are the locations of course you've got over 3,000 servers in 94 countries and uh, 94 countries is a massive number of countries, by the way. So yeah, most VPNs will have 30 to 40, 50, 60 countries. 94 is definitely a lot. And uh, yeah, you've got plenty of servers, plenty of options here. Not too many with the Middle East and Africa, but most VPNs don't even have that many in Middle East and Africa. So not bad at all. And a bunch in Asia. So yeah, <clears throat> great stuff overall with regards to location diversity. And now if we go to the options, again, um, ExpressVPN is really made for just ease of use and compatibility and just, it's a VPN that's supposed to be simple and it appeals to beginners as well as advanced users. It'll appeal to beginners because it is very easy to use and there's nothing complicated about it. There, it requires little to no configuration, honestly. Uh, and it'll appeal to advanced users because of its reliability uh, when it comes to unblocking streaming services and overall compatibility with most modern and smart devices. So uh, yeah, you've got all you need to worry about really or know about is well, you've got a bunch of startup startup options here, which you can customize to your own liking. So network lock, uh, also known as the kill switch will make sure that you're only connected to the internet when you're connected to the VPN. So if I turn this on, and then turn my VPN uh, back on, uh, if the VPN happens to disconnect unexpectedly, it will disconnect me from the internet uh, just to stop any leaks uh, from happening, especially if you're in a censorship heavy country and you don't want your ISP to know uh, what you're doing online. Uh, you know, it really, it rarely happens uh, when it comes to unexpected disconnections, especially with ExpressVPN. But if it does happen, this kill switch will make sure that you don't link back, um, you don't connect back to the ISP servers. So yeah, this can be very useful for a lot of people. 
Split tunneling is another very useful feature, which should be in any premium VPN, really. And it works very well in ExpressVPN. It's super simplified. You know, you've got do not allow selected apps to use the VPN and only selected only allow selected apps to use the VPN. It's self-explanatory, really. So you can uh, have certain applications use the VPN while the rest of your network is untouched by the VPN connection or vice versa. So this can also be really useful for a lot of people. You know, if you want uh, if you don't want your entire connection to be uh, using the VPN and only perhaps your uh, torrenting client uh, to be secured by the VPN while leaving everything else uh, intact. So yeah, this is great overall. And then you've got a uh, handful of protocols right here. You can use the automatic that works totally fine. I prefer to use the best performing protocol, which is lightweight UDP. And anyway, you've got OpenVPN, which uh, offers a little bit more security. IKEV2 is great for uh, speed, but you know, I don't think it's faster than lightweight UDP and it works only on a handful of servers. So it's not too reliable. Uh, L2TP is outdated at this point with lower security. So I wouldn't recommend it in advanced. I mean, you've got nothing here with shortcuts and you know, you can just create your shortcuts if you'd like. Browsers, you can get browser extensions. And uh, with uh, the advanced options, there's nothing I recommend uh, touching here except for sharing crash reports if you'd like to opt out of that. I prefer to just keep it uh, on. And then, by the way, if you notice, I was connected to the French server, right? So this is how you know that you actually connected to the uh, VPN. So it says here, I'm not in France, but it says that I'm in France because of the uh, VPN uh, server right here. So if I go ahead and let's say, mm, let's not select one of these. Let's just go to VPN locations. Um, obviously, you know, this is how you use a VPN. You select a certain location. Let's say you want to unblock Netflix US, connect to LA3. Um, actually for US, for US, Netflix, LA3, Miami 2 and Atlanta are the best. Let's just go with LA3. And uh, as soon as I, you, you can just select it from the list right here and then click on, or you can just double click and it will connect you automatically. Um, lightweight UDP will usually connect you very quickly, much quicker than uh, the other protocols. And that's another reason why I like it. So, you know, you can go to what is my IP dash address.com and then just refresh. And I should show up to be in LA. So it really is as simple as that. That's pretty much how you use a VPN. Again, if you're interested in learning more about ExpressVPN, you'll find the full review down below. And keep in mind that all of the plans here with ExpressVPN are covered by a 30 day money back guarantee. And the way you claim your refund, if you're not satisfied with the service for whatever reason, um, you can just go to the website, hover over the bottom uh, left, bottom right, excuse me, and you can get access to the uh, website, to the live chat support right here. Uh, and you can ask them about the refund or any other question you might be having. Again, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, especially if you want to claim the uh, offer where you're able to get three extra months for free. Feel free to take advantage of that. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.